Electromagnetic spectrum, or just spectrum, is the huge range of wireless frequencies used for all sorts of different things. From x-rays to microwaves, garage door openers and baby monitors to broadcast television. Everything wireless uses spectrum. There's a certain part of spectrum that is particularly useful for various technologies. This spectrum is licensed by the government to different users so that the signals don't interfere with each other. Companies that run satellites, radio, mobile phones, and broadcast television all license different parts of spectrum. But what we want to really focus on is spectrum that's part of the broadcast spectrum incentive auction. The process for this auction begins in late 2015 and will involve the FCC buying some of the licensed spectrum from broadcast television and then selling it to wireless broadband companies. Five years ago, the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, proposed the idea for an auction in the National Broadband Plan. Congress authorized the FCC to proceed a couple of years later. And for the last few years, the FCC has been sketching out the detailed and involved rules for this first ever incentive auction. There are three interrelated components to this process. There's a reverse auction, where broadcasters will voluntarily decide whether or not to sell their spectrum rights to the FCC. Broadcasters will bid downward against each other to give up their spectrum. At the same time, wireless broadband providers will bid upward in a forward auction to buy that spectrum. Finally, there's repacking, a mandatory nationwide process where all broadcasters that stay on the air may be required to move to new channels. The FCC will begin the auction process later this year, with station applications to participate due by December 18th. The actual auction will start on March 29, 2016, and will take somewhere between a few weeks and a few months. After the auction is completed, likely in the early summer of 2016, the FCC will announce the results and everyone's new channel assignments. Why is this happening? It's to really address wireless industry demand for Spectrum, to increase broadband availability in the country, and to generate revenue for a number of government initiatives because the difference between what is paid in a forward auction and what is paid out in the reverse will be kept by the government for these purposes. Who will it affect? In terms of the voluntary auction, nearly every station will get an opening offer to sell, but ultimately, the FCC is expected to buy spectrum in large markets, geographically adjacent markets, or congested markets where there are a lot of broadcasters. As for the repacking, that will be a mandatory nationwide process that could affect any station on any channel in any market. <laughs>